Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. I had somebody call me, actually they uh, emailed me, and they wanted me to <clears throat> post a video. Uh, basically what they have is a L-shaped room, and there's uh, three areas that have uh, the ceiling is dropped down. Uh, he said about a foot, and it's about uh, two feet wide but he wanted to keep it into one room and uh, on once uh, far to the side he also had the same problem and he also had it to the right let me, let me let me show you what he was talking about so he has a room and in that room it's a it's a basement so he the way he explained it to me was that that's what the room looked like. So I'm just going to type basement. Okay. So the way he was explaining it to me is that uh, he told me it was an eight foot basement. Normally there's seven, but he said it's eight. He said he measured it. Okay. So I'm going to take him for his word. Okay. So <clears throat> he explained that, like in the middle of this area here, he had. Um, an area that was approximately two feet <clears throat> um, two feet uh, wide then he also said that he had uh, and this this room it's the same room but in this area he said it's seven feet tall okay so he had the same thing going on here and he said that was about two feet and that area was seven feet tall plus in addition in this corner he had another area that was seven feet tall and it was two feet it sounded like he said it was some kind of air conditioning uh you know fur down so Okay, so it's not let measure. Let's try it again. So hit my control key, go to two feet. Okay, uh, and that one is gonna be seven feet tall. Okay, so what I like doing. Okay, so let me show you what's going on. So if I was gonna do uh, an estimate right now, first of all, you know you you don't want this um, walls. So let's delete the walls. And so this is what it would look like. You see how you, you see the ceiling on yours? It might not show your ceiling. So make sure that if you hit Shift C, I believe, or first actually you have to be on 3D. Okay. And if you hit Shift C for ceiling. You see how you can't see the ceilings? Okay, so another way to look uh, look at your ceilings, if you go to view, uh, somewhere in here, there it is. There's that ceiling surface. And that's how you can see those ceilings, right? Okay, so uh, let, let's, just for grins, so you can see what's going on inside. I am going to create some windows. Okay, so I want to hit W for windows. And I'm going to hold my control key so I can do more than one. Uh, there is just a small area. And then here. And maybe way down here. Okay, so let's hit 3D again. That way we can see inside those rooms. You see how. You, you uh, actually, it's kind of hard to see, so let's go ahead and move those up a little bit. And inside, now you can see, okay, there you, there you go. Okay, so you see, this is it's all the same room, so uh, uh. 
it's all the same room, but right there, the ceiling drops. And then same thing here, you, you can see that ceiling right there. And then down here, you see, you have the fur down right there. Same thing down there, you see, you see the fur down. Okay, now the only problem is if I went in and let's say I wanted to um, <clears throat> um, put paint in the ceiling. So, okay, so if I put, you know, PNTP for painting one coat or two coat or whatever I want. If I select the basement, see it's only going to put it on that basement. Okay, so I'm going to show you in my estimate. Okay, so if you go into the basement, it has 205 feet, right? Because it's only selecting the basement. In addition, you see how there's a room two, three, four, and five? Well, he wants all of them to be just the basement. He don't want those, you know, little rooms there. So, uh, so I can go in. First of all, I, I don't even want the names of those. Uh, I don't want the names showing up. So I'm going to hold my shift key and start selecting the rooms that I don't want. That I don't want names, right? Or you can do one at a time, but this is the easiest way. So if I hit shift enter, which is the same thing as selecting uh, this little icon up here. Uh, here. It's the same thing as selecting this thing here. It's the quick uh, quick shortcut is just Control Enter. Okay, so you see where it says, uh, well, it's not, uh, oh yeah, show label. If I type in for no, or, you know, if you don't like shortcuts, all you gotta do is go right here and you, you can say yes or no. So if you, if you say no, now you don't have that, right? Now, it still doesn't erase it down here, right? So what you really have to do is you select this and you hit Shift, Control, C for Combine. Then you go to your estimate. Now you see there's only one basement. There's all those other ones are not there. Uh, let me show you. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm I'm gonna undo that. I can hit Control Z or I can hit Shift Control S. That separates it. So uh, so let me go back. Sketch. Shift Control S for separate and it's going to give you this dialog box separating room sub rooms will remove the items from the sub rooms would you like to continue yes so now instead of showing you the commands i'm going to show you how to do that so if you lasso everything right now there are um they're separated you see how you have all those rooms while they're selected, if you right click, while they're selected, see right here, combined, which is the thing I told you, uh, control shift S. Now, when you go to your estimate, it's one room. So now, so look, look, look now. So now you got 996.87 because it made all those rooms one room. Okay, so that's all he wanted me to show him. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, you'll see my email uh, when you open up my uh, video. So if you want to know how to do something, call uh, email me and I'll show you on YouTube.
Thank you for watching my video.